I've been in this market for over 10 years and it's quite rare to see a work of art that really just stops you in your tracks. And this Feng Hu absolutely does that. Not only with its graceful shape and this rich brocade-like design, but also because we simply haven't seen this combination of materials on a vessel like this, not in museums and certainly not in the marketplace. This magnificent and unique inlaid bronze vessel is one of the most important relics of the Warring States period. The term Warring States refers to an approximately 250 year period from 475 to 221 BC, right at the end of China's Bronze Age. Competing states and warfare accelerated bronze technology, cultural diversity, and increased contact gave rise to this new visual language across the different realms. In addition, social and political mobility gave rise to a need for artworks that conveyed power and legitimacy. So this exceptionally richly decorated bronze vessel, known as a fanghu, is embellished with gold, silver, and glass, a combination of materials which is virtually unseen on bronze vessels of this period. You can see the silver wire inlay, but in sort of its fluid style and curvilinear motif, it's entirely reminiscent of Warring States painted lacquerwares, which were very fashionable at the time. Lending a sense of three-dimensionality to this, we have these raised gold bosses. And these were formed by casting the bosses separately and adhering them to the surface of the bronze. Thick gold sheet was then hammered on, and it really lends this sense of opulence, dazzling opulence to, to the vessel. All of this, the silver wire, the gold bosses, frame these magnificent lozenge and triangular shaped glass panels, which have been set into recesses cast into the bronze wall. And each of the glass panels is decorated with this eye motif, which is completely reminiscent of Western and Central Asian glass beads that came into China during this period. So it shows that China was adapting this glass technology to suit its own needs and its own aesthetics. When we think of archaic bronzes or ritual bronzes from ancient China, we very often think of monochromatic bronzes. Here we have something that's really quite multicolored. Glass such as this was made for an extremely short period of time. There are only three other similar examples known that include these glass inlays. So we know that the bronze entered the collection of Adolf Stockley, a famous Belgian banker, industrialist and art collector over a hundred years ago. We know that because in 1917, it was photographed in his home, the Palais Stockley. Stockley lent a number of pieces, including this bronze, to what was and is still to this day, the most important exhibition of Chinese art that's ever been mounted. And that was in the Royal Academy of Art in London in 1935. Whenever we interact or see a unique work of art for the first time, there's almost always this moment of hesitation because we've simply never seen anything like this bronze vessel before. This incredibly elegant silhouette, this complex design, this rich brocade-like surface combined to create something that's completely sumptuous, uh, quite ostentatious even, and the result is something that's completely dazzling.